down again Here at your feet Show me how much you love Humility Oh Spirit be the star Good morning and welcome to beginning the day with God on Tuesday the 8th of October. Our opening music was entitled Humble King by Tina Williams. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, May we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Our reading this morning comes from the letter of Paul to the Philippians and today we listen to chapter 2, the first 13 verses. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the Spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed me, not only in my presence, but much more now in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, enabling you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Thanks be to God. Now, our reflection. This passage presents us with one of the great hymns to Christ in the New Testament. To my mind, only Colossians 1, 15 to 20 is its rival. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For that reason, it is easy to jump straight to this magnificent outpouring about Christ and pass over the important reference to the Holy Spirit. 
If then there is any sharing in the spirit, any compassion and sympathy, be in full accord and of one mind. In the famous invocation from the second letter to the Corinthians, which we often call the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Paul writes of the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The Greek is identical, whether typically translated fellowship there or sharing here. The connection is profound. We have fellowship with the Spirit and that is found and expressed in sharing with others. The relation of the believer and the church to the Spirit sometimes calls for poetry and metaphor. Streams of living water, a temple, fruits of the Spirit and deep analysis. But it is also profoundly practical, being about compassion and sympathy. That is deeply demanding. Being of the same mind in full accord comes with difficulty for us, as it did no doubt for the Philippians. But it is both part of our calling and ultimately a part of God's blessing. Amen. Now the Lord's Prayer. We pray together. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Where the mist rises from the sea, where the waves creep upon the shore, where the rack lifts upon the strand, we have seen the Lord. Where the sun awakens the day, where the road winds on its way, where the fields are sweet with hay, we have seen the Lord. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I want to be like a Jesus. To have his heart.